Hello, my name is Olivia Williams, and I am currently in my last semester of graduate school at Texas A&M University. I can't believe that my last semester is finally here. Um, some days seem like it took forever to get here, but honestly, the past two years have absolutely flown by. Um, and I just want to kind of give you a general overview of the contents and material that will be included in my final portfolio um, prior to graduating on December 17th. Um, I just want to take a few minutes and kind of just introduce myself um, and kind of get let you get a feel for um, who I am because it's very rare that I've, I've been able to um, meet my professors face to face. Um, I I graduated Texas A&M University in 2014. I received my um, undergrad in human resource development as well as a minor in business administration. Um, I, I completed my internship for my undergrad the summer before graduating in August of 2014. And I interned with a company called The Achilles Group. They are an HR consulting firm here in Houston, Texas, which is where I currently live and work full time. Um, we offer HR services. Um, we sell what's called fractional HR. Um, a lot of times companies will figure out very quickly that they require, um, you know, top level HR professional all the way down to the coordinator level. Um, your HR director, high, high level, won't necessarily want to do what the lower level um, person may be able to complete and so we sell a variety of services um, that helps companies receive all of the different levels of expertise that may be needed and I interned there and they ended up offering me a position as an HR coordinator um, prior to graduation and I have been there for two and a half years now I actually decided to apply for graduate school um, four days before the application was due, which was also the same date as my graduation in August. Um, it was very spur of the moment. I never thought that I would um, extend my education and attend graduate school. Um, I always swore that after my four years of bachelor's, um, that was going to be it. But that was one of the best decisions that I, I think that I've ever made. Um, and it's truly been a wonderful and rewarding experience um, at my time at Texas A&M University. And I can't believe that this is truly my last semester of school ever. It's definitely bittersweet. Um, and so thank you, um, Human Resource Development Department, for just um, offering challenging and useful courses that will truly be utilized in um, my professional career. And so I kind of just want to give you... Um, background on what my portfolio will contain. Um, you'll see, you know, the About Me page in there, and I kind of just want to give you an overview of where my idea came from for um, creating my human resource development film. In one of my courses um, early on, I believe it was my first or second semester of graduate school, I was in Dr. Dooley's class, and we had an assignment to create an HR metaphor um, that kind of broke down and described the different components of what human resource development is. And I chose a um, film. And those that are involved in um, creating the film. So you have your producer, executive producer, production manager, and director. And each of those components kind of spurred my idea to do um, the different scenes within HR which is going to include your training and development, um, organizational development, career development, and leadership within human resource development. And I will say that I think career development as well as leadership are two of my very, very favorites um, that are included in HR. I personally am very involved with strategic human resources. A lot of times people hear outsourcing HR services and they automatically think, um, you know, payroll and benefits. And my company, we actually come in and um, conduct assessments and kind of see where the gaps are 
in different processes and procedures, um, management, leadership, mentorship, um, goal setting, and kind of things of that nature. So I, I personally really enjoyed um, 614 and 624, um, which is kind of aligns with strategic HR in regards to true strategic um, planning within HR as well as the research side. Um, I also love leadership. I, I actually have been extremely blessed with um, a small company that I'm able to have relationships with, um, with various, various individuals within the company as far as, you know, having a, a, a relationship with the VP and owners all the way down to um, different interns that we've had since, since I've been working there. And I think leadership plays a huge role in any organization, whether it's a professional position that you're in, if it's a um, personal personal relationship that you're in. I just think that leaders truly drive an organization. And um, 605 was leader Foundation Leaderships in HR, and we did a lot of reflection papers Um in this class, and I was able to just learn about different leadership styles, which I thought was interesting because you have different leaders that enter um, your life during different paths and seasons, and you you know that they're good leaders um, because they leave you and they they put a desire on you to to become a leader that they are. But this class was really interesting to me, um, just learning different different types of leadership. So adaptive, authentic, servant leadership. Um, I've included reflection papers on all of those in my portfolio. So you'll kind of get to get an idea of um, what those leadership styles mean to me and also um, explain who in my life, in my professional career, as well as personal life, who has kind of impacted me um, greatly with their leadership styles. And I also was able to complete a personal assessment um, in this course that kind of gave me the opportunity to reflect on what content was um, presented throughout the course of the semester and then able to just kind of reflect and assess the type of personal um, leader that I wish to be to others that um, I may mentor in my in my future career and those that I can just be a leader to um, whether it's with clients or different referral partners or things like that. So um, those are actually two of my favorite um, components of HR that I kind of just wanted to explain, but um, everything else is going to be included in there. And um, I just, I've really gained a lot of knowledge and then just, you know, everyday knowledge that I'll be able to apply to my professional career. So I hope that you enjoy my portfolio um, this was actually a fun, fun assignment. Um, I wasn't really sure what to expect coming in, but it's truly a tool that um, gave me the opportunity to kind of just reflect on all of the, the different theories and components that were presented um, throughout this program. So I hope that you enjoy. Thanks and gig'em.